whenever you want to blame anything on your parents, and especially your father, your fatherless boys and your fatherless daughters, whenever you go on a statistical basis and say that I'm going to do exactly what is customary for somebody who don't have a father to do or a father that's not in his life, you can do this realistically. If you have a problem with anger or praying to God, just talk to your father. It could be something like this. Dear father, the father that I never had, I want to take this time to congratulate you. To congratulate you for putting forth the most effort of not being in my life. I want to thank you for that. And I'm so, 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 so proud that you're not like all the other fathers and the kids' fathers that I went to school with. I want to thank you for that because you're different, because you're my invisible dad. It was so many times that I just had to imagine that you were coming to school and check up on me. And to really appreciate when you fuss at me because I know that you care. But how can I do that when I never see you? I thank you for being the opposite of everything that the storybooks tell me about a dad. Because this this type of experience that you're taking me through, I have to find a way to embrace it. I have to find a way to be the opposite of you. Dear Dad, I just never understood when I look in the mirror, I look at a person, familiarities that I'm not familiar with. And my mom's telling me, go over there and talk to your dad's aunt. Or your dad's sister. That's your dad's sister. That's your aunt. Call her aunt. All of this. Thank you, daddy, for allowing me to go through that by myself. I look in the mirror often and I see a person that I don't know. I see features of my mom. And I wonder who my eyes really look like. Who my lips look like. So a part of me, I never know. I want to thank you for that. And you know what I'm going to do? Because you've done this special thing for me, I'm going to love you from right here. I'm going to be a better, better person than you. I'm going to prepare my mind and heart and my life in a way that when I have children, I'm going to be the best dad I can ever be. I'm going to show you how a man is supposed to be. I'm not going to use what you've done to me as my downfall. But I'm going to use what you've done to me and still doing to me as a ladder to the top. And each step that I take, I know that failure only represents you because you failed me. Oh, oh, I, I know, I know, I know, yeah, yeah. Your m mom did fuss all the time. Yeah, I, I know, I know, and you know, I, I know she, she, yeah, she always asked for money because you paid child support. Yeah, I know. But dad, what did you do? What did you do? Did you go to the courtroom and say, whatever I have to do, I'm going to die and I'm going to fight for my son to see him have the same right as my baby mama, who evidently spending the money wrong and blah, 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 blah. I want this. I want to be there for my son, Yana, and I'm willing to go to jail for 90 days to clear up this and that. Whatever the case may be, why didn't you fight for me? Why? But now here I am, a, a grown man, an adult, thinking back on what I did to you. And this is not your fault alone. Mama should have thought twice besides who she had children with. Both of y'all. But I really appreciate my mom because she had to be both you and her. And she may have made some mistakes, but she did the best she could. So at this time, Dad, 
continue doing exactly what you're doing, being the great fatherless father that you can be. And you do win that award. And my prize to you is to be the best daddy or man that I can be. May God bless you. And may you continue to live your life for yourself.